Ah, uh, Junior, you know, it feels good to take a well-deserved fishing trip in the middle of the day. Yeah, it sure does, Pa. Hopefully nobody finds our secret spot. Trust me, Junior, nobody's gonna find our favorite fishing spot. It's very deep in the middle of Podunk Lake. Yeah, I sure hope not, Pa. All right, well, uh, I got everything if you're ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Let's get the heck out of here. That was a pretty long drive from the city. Oh, this looks like the bait shop right here. Oh. oh, this fish better be biting after a trip like that out in the middle of nowhere. Hi, how you doing, sir? Fish, fish biting any good? You boys don't look like you're from around here. Well, actually, uh, no, we're not from anywhere around here. From the city. Oh, people aren't too friendly around here. Guess it's not. not. Just get some bait. Kind of scary. Well, howdy, Junior. Howdy, Terrell. Catch that wrestling match last night? Oh, yeah, you know it. We got some city boys in there, though. You better watch out. They ain't gonna cause nothing but trouble. Huh. All right, well, we'll be on the lookout. Oh, hey, what's up? Afternoon, gentlemen. Afternoon. Let me hold that door for you. Thank you. Have a, have a good day. Go on, get. Man, people around here sure aren't friendly. No, they sure aren't. Where's the fish? Well, uh, according to the app right here, it's pretty much deep back in there. So maybe uh, just pull up here and I'm, we're probably gonna have to go by foot, foot the rest of the way. All right, sounds good. Oh, look at that water. Oh, wow, this looks great out here. Been waiting to go fishing for a long time. It's been a long, long while. All right, according to the app here, about a mile into those woods and all the fish we could ever want to catch. Sounds good, that's what we came for. Oh yeah, just waiting for us to come and get it. Man, this new fish finder app is pretty sweet, bro. You know it. Oh yeah, we can find uh, the fish pretty easy with this app. Cheating them old school fishermen. <laughs> it's pretty ingenious if oh, you yeah. ask me. Oh, that app didn't lie. Quick, get a selfie, me, bro. Oh man, put it on Twitter. Well, here we are, Pa, back at our old fishing spot. It's good to be here, undisturbed. Yeah, looking forward to catching some fish. Undisturbed. Who are you? It's some city slickers. How'd you guys find our fishing spot? You're right. We are from the city. And I used a tracking app on my computer here. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. But uh, it took us to the spot with the most fish. Real easy. We didn't have to waste years and years to find the best spot. Yeah, like you simpletons. <laughs> Well, look at you, you two pretty boy city slickers with your state-of-the-art technology. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is our spot. You guys better beat it. Now. Oh, come, come on, guys. There's, there's plenty of fish in the lake. No, no pun intended. <laughs> Either you guys leave quietly or we're going to have a problem. Oh, hold on, guys. Josh, can I talk to you for a second over here? All right. 
By the way, you have a very beautiful mouth. <laughs> Come on, Josh, maybe we should just let them have their secret spot. I mean, we can use the app to find another place. I don't like the looks of these guys. They look pretty scary. Plus, they already got that creepy guy from the bait shop sitting over there. He's been watching us. No, you know what? No, it ends here now. Shh. All right, I'm tired of getting pushed around. First oh, it was the guy off. at the car wash. <laughs> then it was the guy on the way out here. Now it's these two clowns trying to tell us we can't hey, fish hey, here. Down, this place is down. huge. I'm gonna be telling them that we're not leaving. All you right. always gotta start problems. All right. Well, you know what? Sorry, guys. Hey, hey, hey. what are you doing? That's my grandpa's hey. What are you doing? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, 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 Pterodactyl here, and today's how-to is going to be on this here crawler command, and we're going to be changing the sump gasket. Looky here, leaking oil. See it all leaking there? So we got to pull this motor off and put a gasket on. Now, not all crawler commands use a gasket. There's only a certain model crawler command that uses the gasket. All the other ones are silicone together. So if you got one that's leaking, you'll know because it won't have a gasket. And when you go to look it up, you'll see that it don't have a gasket. But this one does. And again, we got this from our friends at Pro Parts Direct. And it's an improved gasket. They made a kit. It comes with this new dowel, and we're going to go over that when we get it apart. So this is the gasket for this. This is the one that uses the gasket. Like I said, they don't all have a gasket, just this one does. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and take the engine off. I'm not going to show you how to take the engine off because this is on a John Deere. They're all different. They use this engine on a bunch of different mowers. I've fixed them on Craftsman's and everything else. So I'm going to pull the motor off and show you how to change that gasket. Stay tuned. All right, I got the engine all ready to come off the tractor, but I just want to tell you how simple it is to remove the motor. You don't have to take a bunch of stuff off. Disconnect the cables. Here's the cables, the choke, and the, and the throttle. You may just have one cable on yours. I tucked them in there, get them out of the way. Disconnect your fuel line. I got it pinched off. Go around the other side. Now this, this particular cable on this model, you know, it goes right to the battery. So I disconnected it at the battery and it's got a disconnect here to the fuse. Yours may be different, so you're gonna wanna disconnect it from the battery, otherwise you're gonna have sparks shooting all over the place. And then one simple connection from the engine, disconnected. And then the one wire going to the starter solenoid, the trigger wire. And that's about it. And then I went underneath, took off the clutch, took off the pulley. Now, set your parking brake on a lot of model tractors. When you set the parking brake, it makes the belt loose that drives the tractor. And then that way it's easier to come off. You're not fighting that tension on the belt. And then, of course, I had to jerk my deck off, too. To get under there. Now you can leave the exhaust pipes on. Most of these motors the pipes just slip out of the muffin. So you don't you know have to take a bunch of stuff off. I had to take the heat shrouds off on this particular model. And then I went underneath and you know I jacked it up and went underneath took the four bolts out that hold it on. So now I'm ready to take the motor off and then I'm gonna drain all the oil out of it and we're going to pull that uh, sump cover off. So here, let me pull the motor off. I'm like the Hulk. So 
now I'm going to go ahead and drain the oil out. And then we'll go to, to the next step. Alright, I got all the oil drained out. Now if you notice, this model's got an oil cooler which is hooked to the to the sump pan. So instead of disconnecting all this, I'm just going to remove the pulse line from the fuel pump. And there's two screws, 10 millimeter head, one underneath and one on the top. That way we can keep this all together when we pull the sump off. And oh look, see it's starting to clog up, so good time to clean that. Just remember to route this back through there when you hook it back up. Oh, drop the bolt in the oil. I have to fish that out later with a magnet. So we'll just keep this all together. Now I'm going to flip the engine upside down. We're going to pull that cover off. All right, there's 10 bolts that hold this cover on, and they're 10 millimeter head. And there's one kind of hidden under here. Now that's up to you if you want to take this pipe out. I just loosened it with a wrench. And another thing, these hoses, if you got the oil cooler, sometimes they leak over time. I, I take those spring clamps off and I'll put regular uh, hose clamps on there that I can tighten with a wrench. All right, pull the bolts out. They're all the same length, so you don't have to remember where they go. And we don't have no governor to mess with or disconnect. I'm just gonna pull the cover off. Wiggle it, wiggle it, wiggle it just a little bit. And there we go. We got the cover off. You can see it was leaking all in this area. See? See how it sucked it in right there? So, got to clean all the gasket off. Old gasket. And put the new gasket on. Got the gasket all cleaned off. Now you'll notice there's these locating dowel pins. One here and there's one in the cover. Now, when you take the cover off, it doesn't necessarily mean they're gonna stay in here or in here. This one just happened to come off and stayed in the cover. But they come out. Now, this is the problem. This is why the gasket failed. This one's got a seam in it. See that crack in there? Now in the kit, they give you a new one that's seamless. There's no seam and the instructions tell you that. So make sure you read the instructions because it explains. And it goes on the oil filter side, which is this side where the oil filter is, which is this side on the engine. So make sure you install that, otherwise the gasket's just going to fail again. Got to tap it in lightly. Now another thing, when you take this engine apart, some of them have shims on there. So make sure the shim didn't stick to here and fall in there. This one's got two. Now that's to, to make sure you got the right end play when they assembled the engine. And then see, here's another one that was on the crankshaft. So make sure you, you know, if it's got shims, make sure they go back on. So I'm going to tap that in. We're going to put the gasket on. And another thing I like to do is since I got it apart, I'm going to go ahead and put a new uh, seal in it. Might as well you got it apart. And then I'll get you the number for that seal. There's a new seal. There's the part number. But always double check your model to make sure. Now, you notice 
The seal is back a little bit. About eighth of an inch. You can pop it out with a screwdriver. I'm gonna go from the inside and knock it out. Screwdriver and a hammer. Or my hand. Hammer, hammer hands. Hammer hands ain't working. See, there's no shoulder for that seal. So that's why it's important to only knock it in an eighth of an inch past. Otherwise, you're going to block that hole. We don't want to block that hole. And again, I always hit it right on the edge. Out of sale. And then I take a punch and knock it in to that eighth inch. Carefully. Keep going around different spots. So you get it down. to like where it was before. That looks pretty good. It's in there. All right, seal's on. Now we can reinstall. Make sure this is all, oil's all off of there. Clean it real good. If you want to reassemble, you can use motor oil on here, or you can use this gel lube by Velco Cincinnati. NASCAR engine builders use this because it's sticky. So this is good stuff, and it's a multi-purpose lubricant. You can use it on other stuff, too. And then I know some of you always ask me about gasket sealing. Well, the other engine, they use silicone. They don't have a gasket. And it tells you that in the instructions too. But if you do want to use some kind of uh, gasket sealer on paper gaskets, I like using this, high tack. This stuff's good. It's like spray paint. And it's sticky and you can spray it on both sides. I usually take a piece of wire and hang it up and coat both sides of it, let it sit, read the directions could take up to 450 degrees. This stuff is good. I like this stuff too. Especially if you've got a problem where a gasket leaks all the time and you've replaced it. Silicone, you know, sometimes it squishes out and it's got a tendency to come off. This gasket's got a little edge of silicone impregnated right on the edge. So I'm not gonna put nothing on this. I'm just gonna put it the way it is. And I got the new dowel pin. I tapped it in there. Just tap it in there very gently. You don't want to mushroom it. You ain't going to get the other half on. So now we're ready. I spray a little gel lube on there. On the journal. We didn't disturb anything. We didn't mess with the cam or nothing. Just took the cover off, put the gasket, put the cover back on. Get it to line up. Make sure you don't roll the seal. Now, to get the gears to sometimes mesh, you might have to give it a little wiggle with the crankshaft. A little wiggle and get it to mesh. There we go. Yep, there it goes. Don't force it. Let it just drop on. If it don't drop on, you got something, something wrong. All right. Now we'll, re we'll put our bolts in and reassemble it. Now we got a little bit of a gap here, and that's probably because the crankshaft is being pushed up. You know, because we do have a little play in there. I'm going to give it a little tap. 
Could be the Dolphins too. All right, we got it on there. So you got to be careful because it's those locating fins you want to be careful about. So sometimes you got to give it a little tap. Got to give it a little, a little, you know, a little adjustment here. Just be very patient and be, you know, do it gingerly. Get a flashlight and check everything out. And then I had to give it a little tap to get it down because we do have that new dolphin in and it fits in there tight, especially on this side. So you can see it's down now. So just take your time. You're not in a race. You're not racing anybody. And then put your bolts back in. Uh-oh. UPS man's here. It's like Christmas time. Bringing me parts. Like Christmas every day here. I love opening gifts. Okay, so now you're gonna put the bolts back in. Now you can do this too. Those instructions they give you, it doesn't tell you. But if you want, you can put Loctite on these bolts. I would use blue because that's removable. You don't wanna use red or anything else because it might, if you ever have to take it off in the future, it might rip the threads out. So make sure you clean them good with like brake cleaner and clean out the threads and blow them up real good. And another thing in the instructions, they don't give you a torque pattern, but I got the manual here. This is an 8.8 .8 metric bolt. It's a eight millimeter. It tells you 216 inch pounds if you want to torque it. So I would just gradually go in a staggered pattern until you get to 216. If you don't have a torque wrench, just guess. You know, as long as they're tight, but don't go like all Hulk on it and rip the threads out. Just use your own judgment and then just go in a cross pattern. So that's all there is to change in the sump gasket on this here Crawler Twin. And remember, as always, woo! There's your dinner. Man, those guys are such jerks. I told you we should just let them have that spot. This oh. is pretty nice. Plenty of fish here, too. Oh, oh my God. Oh, what's that? What's that noise? It's prob probably that, that old man and his boy trying to, trying to scare us some more. You think so? Where I thought we were pretty far from from anybody else, they're yeah. the only folks I've seen. Can't scare us! We know it's you! Yeah! Just go away, we're not in your spot anymore. Oh, oh, it's a bear! bear. Oh, oh, I didn't know there were bear. bears out here. Oh, man. It's all right, he's going away. Look, oh, look, we'll, we'll be fine. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. Just, just hope he doesn't want to come eat, eat our fish. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he's, oh, he's in the car, now what do we do? Oh, crap! That's okay. You got the keys, right? No, I, I thought you had them. What? No! You had one job. No! We gotta, get, we gotta stop! We gotta get hey. that car. Hey! Where are you going, hey, babe? You. Stop! 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 Stop!